What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Young Fizz, aka Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another machine tutorial. So today, what I want to do is show you how you can incorporate analog gear into your machine setup. So if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and please do not forget to turn on the bell notifications so whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's tutorial, which is how to incorporate analog gear into your machine setup. I'm gonna be using my R&D, which is Rupert Neve Designs, the 5059 Satellite Summing Mixer. And that's gonna be routed into my Orion Studio. So for this to work, you have to understand how to use your audio interface as well as your summing mixer. You're also going to need to understand how the routing works both in your interface and in machine. And I'm here to show you exactly how to do that. So let me start off first with the Orion Studio. So if you're like me and you are using the Orion Studio, this is gonna be a pretty simple setup. At the top, you're gonna to see your preamp. You have 12 physical pre's. My summing mixer is connected to 9, 10, 11, and 12. This particular summing mixer that I have has a stereo one and it has a stereo two. So that's a total of four outputs, two pairs. So nine and 10, 11 and 12. So again, I want you guys to focus on 9, 10, 11, and 12 because that's gonna be the inputs to my machine. The next thing that I want you to pay attention to is my TB play. If I hit this asterisk here, you'll see where it says DAW out. So that means DAW out is my DAW is machine two. So anything coming out of machine two is gonna be routed to my summing mixer. Now, this is important to note. I do not use one and two. And the reason why I don't use one and two is because that's like the main output. It's connected to my headphones, it's connected to my monitors, and that's just the way the system works by default. So I do not want to touch one and two. So what I wanna do is I wanna start off using number three, and I'll click all the way to 18, and I'll drag and drop that here to line outputs. So what did I just do there? I'm saying, hey machine, I want you to take audio channels number three through 18 that's coming out of the DAW, and I want this to be routed to my line inputs. Basically, that's what you call a D to A conversion. So it's going from digital, which is inside the machine, and I'm sending it out to my summing mixer. So now I have to take it out of my summing mixer and bring it back into machine. Remember earlier I was talking about nine and 10? Well, nine and 10 is right here. So you have nine and 10, that's gonna be stereo one, and 11 and 12. So now what I wanna do is make a physical patch from my summing mixer into my audio interface. So how do I do that? I'm using the routing matrix inside of the control panel with Orion. So I have nine through 12, and I'm routing that into right here where it says TB record, and that's going right there. So TB rec, if I click this, this says dot input. So essentially what I'm doing, I'm sending audio from my machine to software into my summing mixer, and I'm bringing that back in as either mono or stereo. In this case, I'm using stereo. All right, so that's all the routing inside of my Orion Studio control panel. Now let's take a look at some of the routing inside of machine. So the first thing I wanna do inside of machine is look at my routing and make sure everything is set up correctly. So I'm gonna hit command comma. That's gonna open my preferences. I wanna go over to the audio tab. And I'm looking for routings here, and then I'm looking for input. So this is all selected. Now I want you to pay attention here. Right here it says N to L, N to R. So that's seven and eight. We don't really need that. That's usually from my keyboards. One and two is typically for a vocal mic or some type of line input. Now down here, I have my summing mixer connected to three and four. So that's nine through 12. So starting with machine N three L, I have that connected, which is nine. Then I have machine N three R, which is 10. Machine in 4L, which is 11, and then machine in 4R, which is 12. So the routing that you see here matches the routing inside of my Orion Studio. Now I wanna come over here just to make sure that my output settings are correct. So I have machine out 1L, starting with one, and I'm just leaving this as normal as possible. And that goes all the way to 32, because I have a total of 32 outputs inside of machine. Now I'm paying attention to this number right here. I don't really care for these numbers. I'm not sure what they do, but I wanna focus in on these numbers here. And that's another thing that I wish that Native Instruments would change for the machine is the ability to label these so it could be a little bit easier. Hopefully in a future update, we will be able to 
rename these. But for now, this is how it's gonna work. So I wanna close out of that. I wanna make sure I'm on the mixer tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit tab here. And then I wanna make sure that I'm on the group. So your screen might look a little bit different. You may have something like this going on here and you might have nothing at all. So how did I do that? So you wanna make sure this icon right here is pressed in and you can see all of the inputs, outputs, plugins, aux, all that stuff. You wanna see the screen in its entirety. So right now we are looking at the sound tab. We wanna make sure that we are on the group tab. So to do that, I just double click up here right by the A1 and that's gonna place it in the group tab. Now, this is the important part. Down here are your routings. So ext.2, which is external, is going to right here. Remember, ext.1, which is external one, that's going to my main monitors. That's the main output. So that's why I do not want to adjust that at all. So I start from ext number two, my drums, ext number three, my sub, ext number four. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is create another group. So to do that, you just hit this plus sign here and then name the group. I've already done that for stereo one and I've created another one for stereo two. That way I can separate the instruments from the drums and I have more flexibility with my summing mixer. But again, you don't have to create two unless your summing mixer calls for it. A lot of summing mixers are only gonna have one pair of stereo outs. So now that this is all set up, you wanna make sure that the stereo one is set to master. I have stereo two set to master as well. Now what I wanna do, I wanna come over here to where it says stereo one, which is D1 here for me, double click that and look at my sound tab. Okay, so this is another important step that you do not want to miss. This is how you're gonna be able to get the audio from the summing mixer back into your DAW, which in this case, I'm using machine. So I'm gonna click right here. It's gonna be a drop down menu and then you just select N3L plus R. This is stereo. If you do it down here, that's gonna be mono. It's gonna sound weird. You don't wanna do that. You wanna bring it in stereo unless you want to do otherwise. So right here, I'm gonna select N3L plus R. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for stereo number two. But instead of doing three L plus R, I'm gonna do N four L plus R. And that's gonna be for stereo two. So again, stereo one is N three L plus R. Stereo two is N four L plus R. Okay, so back to stereo one. I wanna make sure this is set to group because I wanna be able to control it from right here. So now if I press play, you'll see it routing through my Neve summing mixer. and I'm able to control it right here in front of me. Now, you might be asking, why did I route it this way? You wanna make sure this right here, D1, is routed to the master. That way, you can get the best of both worlds. So say, for example, if I come back here, I select master, and I wanna add a compressor, I can still add my compressor, I can add a filter, I can add whatever I want. So that way I'm getting both the analog and I'm affecting it with a digital plugin. All right, so now for the last part. Now that everything is coming in from my Rupert Neve designs into my DAW, I have my plugins from my master track, I wanna record everything that I'm doing inside of machine. So to do that, I've created another group I have that routed to the master, and then I call this mix bus. So now what I wanna do, I wanna come back over to my other screen here by hitting tab. Now you wanna make sure that you're looking at this screen here. If you're not, hit the S key, and that's gonna bring up the sampler window. Now you wanna set your input source to internal, and then set your other input to master. So now if I press play, I can see my levels coming in here. Another thing I want you guys to know is the gain structure. So right here, where it says melody, drums, and sub, this is all going into my summing mixer. So I could use these here to push the levels up or down. So let's try that. So I'm using these faders here to really push 
that audio signal into the R&D. If the signal gets too hot, you just use these faders to bring it down just a little bit. But I'm paying attention to see if my light is clipping or not. And I personally like to push it as it gives it a little bit of character. So now that that is all out the way, the last thing I want to do is make sure my recording mode is in sync. That way, whenever I hit play, it starts recording automatically. And then also I set the length to free because we don't know how long the song is going to be. So we just want to go until we press stop. And this last part here is optional. You want to make sure that you're on the sound tab. You can either add an audio plugin, go to internal audio, or you can just leave it as a sampler. And then you hit start. And then as soon as you hit play, it's going to start recording. So I hit stop. You're going to see the file name right here. You just want to rename this. So we'll call this flashy instrumental mix so i have it named and i can use this button to preview it don't worry the volume's going to be kind of low because it's just a preview if you do want to raise the volume just to kind of match it you can go over to the master and you want to make sure you're on the channel tab and then where it says q right here it has a level so i'll control the q over here and turn up just a little bit as i preview it I'll turn that up to maybe about six here and it should be kind of level matched. So I hope you guys have found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the comment box below. It's your boy Young Fizz, AKA Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and we will see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in. We are out.